Hi, this is Athena Startsey. This is a series called Raising Reverence, and uh, I'm still on day four of my fast, my Purium 10-day detox cleanse, which is kind of like fasting from solid food, but just you get to have little flex foods. But mostly it's green drinks and amino acids, plant-based. But I got a little down, and so my soul told me to come to Venice. Well, I was already in Venice. I was doing readings in Venice, but my soul told me to come down to Venice Beach. And uh, I want to show you this. This is where I'm at. My first, very first spiritual teacher ever was this artist, David Alexander English. And I basically saw a painting of his that I had seen in a dream. And I didn't have any money, but I said, listen, if you bring that to my house later tonight, I will pay you for that art. And he did, and we became friends, and my whole world changed. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit of his art right here. Can you see this? It's absolutely beautiful. There's like labyrinths, you can see Shard's Cathedral Labyrinth. Transformational butterfly. He has a lot of um, poetry on his art. And I painted my very first painting right here on Venice Beach, was in the, which is on the cover of my book, my very first book that he helped me publish, called The Celebration Story for No Reason. <laughs> so let me show you some of the um, poetry here. Can you see this? As infinite immortal children of the light, each of us have permission to access the Akashic Records through our imaginations, creative visualization, at any moment we so choose. So beautiful. The Akashic Record is the entire history her story, our story, of the entire universe and all the possible universes, past, present, and or future, as well as any aspect of ourselves in any lifetime that we have lived, are living, or might live. The universe revels in subtlety. Even in all its most apparent complexities, the universe remains simplistic. If one chooses to see it, Earth is one place in the universe where one can ex experience the illusion of being separate from itself. The illusion of being separate from divinity makes it possible to experience romantic, erotic, fraternal, familial, and brotherly love in the midst of the trials and the tribulations of navigating the apparent wasteland of emotionless and misguided passions that form the building blocks of our earthly life for the sole purpose of assisting each soul's purpose. We are the extraterrestrials. We come from beyond the stars, beyond the earth, and return to our true home beyond the parallel dimensions. Every day we're here until we leave for good. Isn't that beautiful? That is so beautiful. That's so beautiful. I hope you heard that whole poem. <laughs> okay, so now, would you like to meet David Alexander English? Here he is. Say hello to the Facebook and YouTube fans. Hi, Facebook and YouTube fans. Did you want to sit? Yes, I'm going to sit. So anyways, he's my first teacher. And basically, he taught me many lessons. One was detachment and allowing. The other one he taught me was how to read the Akashic Records. He also taught me about Christ consciousness. And just now, before I decided to do a YouTube clip, he was talking about Enoch and his next novel. Oh, speaking of which, he's an incredible author. Hold on, let me show you some of the books. Look at this. Okay, Infinite Love, Learning to Fly, Hero Practice. Look at this over here. What's this? Open. That looks really good. Open. Let's all stay open, right? Open. What's this? Never. Really? Never? And Woke. You know, that came up with everybody. Are you woke? We're constantly in a state of going to sleep and waking back up. Everybody has a different alarm clock. You know how that is. Some people wake up at five. Other people snooze until noon. So, uh... That would be me. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. Because I often work till three in the morning and I try to get eight hours. So, 11, you know, that's about it. Um, the life of an artist. So. I want to tell you more about about Enoch. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Incredible story. All right. So this is the next novel. Okay, go ahead. Okay. <laughs>
Ah, we're gonna hear it just you right can, now. The next can, novel right here, right now. No, just do a little tiny thing and then I'll turn it off. What? A little sneak preview of okay. the novel. So, Enoch is the seventh patriarch after Adam, right? He, where, where it usually says, you know, uh, who's he, what's he, lived to be, you know. 800 years old. Right. <laughs> and, and when he was, you know, X amount of years old, he had his son, right? And his son, his name is thus. And then after him, he had many sons and daughters, and then he died, right? right. Well, when it, under Enoch, it says, instead of, and then he died, it says. And then he transitioned. It, it, no, it says, and Enoch walks with God because God took him. He ascended. Well, that's one way of looking at it, yeah. I'm been, so, I've been studying the Emerald Tablet, so this is right up my Emerald okay. Alley. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so here, here's the thing. I mean, that, that, in, in addition to the fact that, um, supposedly, what happened is he was taken. You know, he's out in his field one day. You know, taking care of his animals and whatnot, and a divine messenger shows up and takes him to some place else, right? Either into the sky or into the north or whatever, and they teach him all this stuff like sacred geometry, the flower of life, um, earth energy, ley lines, and how to create a celestial observatory about everything to do with the heavens and the stars and all this kind of stuff. And then they brought him back and told him to you know, share this with the, with the people around where he was. And the reason is because they foresaw that there was going to be a destruction because he is Noah's great grandfather. He's Methuselah's father, right? Oh, okay, all right. And, and so this happened, um, Methuselah was born when he was 65 years old. He lived to be 365 years on the earth before he was taken up, okay? Finally, yeah. the second time. Methuselah lived to be 969 years old. Yes. So roughly, you know, this, his, experience happened a thousand years before the flood right exactly okay. to prepare okay and so exactly so <laughs> to prepare. so now we know we have a pretty good idea of what caused the flood and when the flood actually happened the, the flood happened approximately 12,800 years ago and was what most likely happened was there was a uh, a, a comet fragmented and parts of it crashed into the earth and it exploded in the northern hemisphere over the North American ice sheet and caused, you know, if you're, um, if you're, if you've ever been to New York or Chicago or Boston, yeah, imagine two miles of ice landing on your head. No, two miles of ice from a glacier. Oh my God. Boston, New oh York, God. Oh Chicago. God. That's yes. how, that's how deep. How, how great that glacier was. Now, imagine what would happen if a giant ball of ice comes into the atmosphere so fast that it explodes into fire and melts, flash melts. Oh, uh, water, flood. Huge. Yeah. A huge wall of water rushing across the surface of the earth um, over, the, over a, just a couple of days. So we know that this happened. Uh, science has agreed that this has happened. Really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Without question. Science this is has all, agreed. This is all. Um, you know, scientific evidence has has come forward over the past. Um, there have been s uh, at least three ma major uh, peer-reviewed papers from key scientists that state this that have come out in the past just in the past so year. So are you going to go back and forth to two different time periods in your novel? With and Enoch and then his great, 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 oh, great, great. Oh, baby, baby. It, it, it's multi-dimensional. No, it, it. <laughs> <laughs> you go, here's what I, I here. It goes from night school to the celestial uh, sacred geometry classes to present day with Enoch alive into the future with his great, 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 great grandson, Noah building the ark and oh, having dreams. Okay, okay, so check this out. Here's the thing. So 
Enoch comes back, he's brought back, and he, he starts a school. We're going to have to do part two. You're going to have to buy the book. Where, where's the dot com they can get a hold of you so they can buy this book? My name.com, David Alexander. David Alexander English.com. And, and we're going to have it'll the book my... on pre sale. We're going to pre sale the book. This <laughs> <laughs> is pre sale the book. It, it'll be my, my 26th book in 10 years, my 10th book in three years. My seventh novel. I'm, I'm touching him. My, I'm my touching seven, him. He's a, seventh novel this, in all, two years. All this magic. <laughs> just rub all this magic all over me. <laughs> right. All right, okay. this is Athena Starsey. This is a series called Raising Reverence. This is exactly the medicine I needed. I needed creative artistry in Venice. This is the heart chakra of our entire dimension. Venus, Venice. Could we say anything else? Stay tuned.